Hi, it's Liz here from The Herb Guide showing you how to make parsley sauce. It's traditional to serve parsley sauce with fish, but it's also great with ham or gammon. You'll need milk, flour, butter and fresh or dried parsley. The quantities are in the box below. Begin by melting the butter. Once it's melted, remove the pan from the heat and add the flour. Using a whisk, stir in the flour until it's all combined, making sure you have no lumps. It's quite straightforward, just use a sideways movement with the whisk to beat the flour and melted butter together. Return the pan to the heat and stir it for one minute whilst the flour cooks. This is the base of a bechamel or white sauce and you've just made the roux. Did you think you could do it? Well, yes you can. Remove the pan from the heat and begin to incorporate your milk a little at a time. The idea is to do it slowly so that you don't get lumps. Between each addition of milk, stir all round the pan. As you can see, I work across the pan and then circle around the edges with the whisk so that all the roux gets mixed in and it's smooth. Once you've got about three quarters of the milk in, put the pan back onto the heat to cook with sauce. Stir around the edges of the pan and across the base and you'll see the mixture begin to slowly thicken as it heats up. I'll speed this up here, it takes about two minutes and you don't really want to watch the back of my hand. But whilst this is happening, I'd just like to say that I do weekly videos and if you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I'd love to have you. As you can see, the sauce thickens up quite considerably. I always leave the last quarter of milk until I see how thick the sauce is at this stage. It depends whether I'm making a coating or pouring sauce. I thin it down to the consistency I want by adding more milk. So add as much more milk as you want, then bring it back to the boil. You can see how super smooth and glossy the sauce is. It looks delicious and it's far better than a packet mix. Add a few twists of black pepper and the parsley. Stir it in and allow the sauce to bubble again. You don't need to stir quite as much now, but do keep it moving so it doesn't burn. You can add salt here to taste, but I'm using this to cook some fish and so will salt at the table if I need to. The whole process took nine minutes from start to finish. This white sauce is the basis of cheese sauce as well. Add about one cup of grated cheese instead of the parsley. Or you could add some sautéed onion or mushrooms. I hope you found the video useful. See you next time.